Today we are going to learn to write the place value for randomly selected numbers. So I have few numbers that I have selected randomly and I'm going to show you how to write the place value for these numbers. So our topic is place value. Place value. So the first number I have is 48. And I have the table tens and ones. So when I take 48, what number do I have in the ones place? So I have number 8 in the ones place. So I write number 8. And in the tens place, I have number 4. So I read it as 4 tens and 8 ones or 48. So when I move on to the next number, that is number 52. So in the ones place I have number 2 and in the tens place I have number 5. So the number is read as 5 tens and 2 ones. So this is your place value. Next number is 96. So what number do I have in the ones place? Can anyone tell me what number is there in the ones place? Yes, it is number 6. So I have 6 in the 1's place and I have 9 in the 10's place. So I read the number as 9 10's or and 6 1's or 96. The next number I have is number 23. So I have number 3 in the 1's house and number 2 in the 10's place. So it is read as 2 10's and 3 1's. So this will make addition of two digit numbers simple if we know which number comes in the ones place and which number comes in the tens place. So the next number is 71. So I have one in the ones house and number seven in the tens place. So I read the number has seven tens and one ones or 71. So we have four tens, eight ones or 48. 5 tens, 2 ones or 52, 9 tens, 6 ones or 96, 2 tens, 3 ones or 23, 7 tens, 1 ones or 71. So this is the place value for these 5 numbers and I am going to show you 5 more numbers and we are going to find out the place value for these 5 numbers. So we have seen the place value of the first five numbers. Now we'll move on to place value of the next five numbers. So these numbers have been randomly selected from 1 to 100 and I'm showing you how to write the place value for these numbers. So the next number is 1717. So we have in the ones place we have number 7 and in the tens place I have number 1. So I read it as 1 tens and 7 ones or 17. The next number 35. So in the ones place I have 5 and in the tens place I have 3. So it is read as 3 tens, 5 ones or 35. Next number 80. So in the ones place I have 0 and in the tens place I have 8. So it is 8 tens and 0 ones or 80. The next number 76. So I have number 6 in the ones place and number 7 in the tens place. So it is read as 7 tens and 6 ones or 76. And the last number 24. So I have number 4 in the ones place and number 2 in the tens place. And it is read as 2 tens, 4 ones or 24. So by knowing the place value of each number, addition or subtraction becomes a very simple task. So we will move on to the same numbers. So 1 tens, 7 ones or 17, 3 tens, 5 ones or 35, 8 tens, 0 ones or 80, 7 tens, 6 ones or 76, 2 tens, 4 ones or 24. So this is the place value of the numbers between 1 and 100. So I hope you have understood how to write the place value. So you can just take any numbers that you like and make a column as I have done 
like this and be able to write the place value for the numbers that you have selected.